This is the plaintiff, Terrence Nichols. He says he and the defendant were married, and she co-signed for a new truck for him because she made more money. And as they headed towards divorce, the defendant stole the truck from him while he was sleeping. The only reason she did it was because he served her with papers seeking spousal support. She didn't like that and is now trying to royally ruin him, which isn't fair. He's suing for $2,500, the amount he's owed. This is the defendant, Tiffany Nichols. She says the plaintiff's a scoundrel, who she discovered had been cheating on her for five years. They separated, and when he missed a payment on the truck, the bank called her. She didn't want her credit to be ruined. Her lawyer told her to repossess it, and here they are. Bottom line, this guy is down and out. She's a disabled vet with veteran compensation and benefits, and the plaintiff's trying to get some of her money. She's accused of stealing an ex's truck. The defendant has filed a countersuit for $966.95 for a cell phone the plaintiff maliciously put in her name. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, these litigants were married. She was the breadwinner. She got him a car, and then he says she stole it. She says he ruined her credit. It's the case of if you think marriage was bad. Douglas, hey, Terrence in. Nichols? Yes. You are suing Tiffany Nichols for, um, well, she's still your wife, right? Yes. Okay, for $2,500, half of a car deposit that you put down that has now been repossessed. Mm -hmm. You have a counterclaim against him for a Samsung Galaxy 8. Okay, let me hear from you. Well, um, in January, me How long have you two been married? Uh, for 15 years. How long have you been separated? For two and a half years. Two and a half years. Yes. Do you have children together? Yes. How many? We have three. What ages? Uh, 13, I believe 11 and seven. Okay. So go on. In January, um, the vehicle that I had previous to the vehicle that we had bought, um, the engine, it started to go. So I needed to off the truck as soon as possible. So I asked her um, if she would help me get this vehicle. By doing what? Um, she was supposed to be the primary on the loan because she had the income. And more what income. was your income? My income is only $183 a month. Plus I was getting help from, fam from family and friends to help me pay the vehicle. Right, why was your income only 100 and something a month? Um, I'm d disabled. Um, by, and you're di by, are you legally disabled? Um, I'm waiting for the hearing. Um, so no, I'm not legally okay. yet. Um, and I contacted the defendant and she agreed. Well, she, was, she didn't want to agree at first because everything that happened, we how, were separated. How, why, you, you were co-signing and you were the primary on it? I was the primary, yes, ma'am. Why would you agree to that if you know that he's not making any income? I didn't, well, he wasn't, he has, sorry, his girlfriend was helping him, so I knew that she would Who's help him. Who's the girlfriend? Are you the girlfriend? Okay. Um, but originally why I did it was because I, my kids were crying. They missed their father. They couldn't see him. With my disability, it's hard for me to drive back and forth to the city. Um, the long distance, so I couldn't drop them off as, as much as possible, and I cared about my kids' hearts, and I, it, I, they were sad, so I how, just, how I know. How are your kids' hearts right now? Right now, they're not that good. Exactly, like what, your their parents are suing each other. Like, they you know, know. That's, that's not yeah. good for the kids' hearts, um, because it was kind of predictable that he wouldn't be able to make payments, so why? Why thought, do that? And if you're gonna help him, why not just help him by getting him a hoopty? Why does he have to have, what kind of car did he end up getting? Uh, 2015 Ford Explorer, I believe. Why? Why does it have to be that? Unfortunately, I thought... Well, you weren't thinking. No, I was Because you ended up getting yourself involved in this complete mess. And then, so let's see how I got this right. You end up with her at the dealership. Yes. You both sign. Yes. And you, how much do you put down? Uh, four, $4,000. How much did she put down? Did One, she help you too? $1,000. All right. And she put her name. Is that accurate? Did you put $1,000 towards it? Yes, ma'am. Am I the only one that saw that this was a bad idea? That no. it was heading straight to the toilet for everybody? My mom told me not to, not to help sign for a car, and unfortunately, my, I... I mean, I, I understand your desire to help, but you don't... He doesn't need to have a 2015 Ford. Why can't he just have an old car that gets him around to visit his kids? It's a good question, ma'am. What year car do you drive? 2014 Kia Sabana. Oh, so he had to have a newer one than you. He's always had to have newer. No, one. he doesn't. He yeah. may have always had it, he just doesn't have to. Listen. How long did it take you to not pay? I made the first payment. 
I have a receipt um, proving that I made the first payment. And I called the bank and I let the bank know that I was going to be coming in on a certain date to make the previous payment. So you didn't payment. make the second payment? I didn't make the second payment, no. <laughs> when was the payment due? It was due on the 23rd of April. And when did the car get repossessed? May the 17th. Okay. So by May the 17th, you still hadn't made the payment? I was going in on the 18th. Oh, isn't that mysterious, right? How long do you think, you think the bank is as naive as the mother of your children is? How long did you think the bank was going to sit around and wait for the payment? Um, it wasn't the bank that took the vehicle. It was the, the defendant that called and told them to come and pick up the vehicle. Right, and then they took it. So it was the bank that took the vehicle. Oh, yeah. Okay. And so uh, what did you think, that banks don't take vehicles? Have you ever had a car loan before? Yes. Okay. And why couldn't you do it on your own again? Because I don't have a job. Okay. How's your credit? Um, it's not horrible, but it's not great either. How do you get bad credit? For um, not paying bills that once, once we left. I know. Once we... Yes, ma'am. Okay. So now, uh, do you place a phone call to them regarding, hey, pick it up, I don't want to be... How does that work out? Yes, ma'am. Um, I wanted to contact him um, to to see if he was going to make the payment, but he sent me texts when um, we became not amicable, stating only contact me about the children, and it's um, that way. Well, when did you become not amicable? One day you're co-signing loans and getting your name on a car with them, and the next day you're not amicable. What happened? Because he told me, um, because he gets DSS, they um, explained to him that he needed to either take me back to court for spousal support, or um, they would. So, which I was kind of confused. Back like, it up, back it up. Mm -hmm. Say that again. He gets DSS. What's DSS? Um, Department of Social Services. He gets food stamps and money. And so they said that he should take you back to court for child support. For maintenance. Uh, for spousal support. Yes, ma'am. But he doesn't pay child support or anything. But he want, they said that he had to go back and ask. In order for, to keep his DSS, he had to go back. Yes. He could choose to not do that. But, yeah. You know. Exactly. And I asked him. So I said, he filed against you for spousal support? Yeah. I not asked, child support. Spousal no. support. Yes, ma'am. I asked him, I said, well, since your girlfriend works and she lives with you and your mom yeah, is that's Social Security. Yeah, that should be included in DSS. So he said So no. did you file against her for spousal support? I did. The woman who just co-signed a loan for you for your car so you could visit your kids? But there was more that happened before I, I filed the spousal su support. Um, when I went there to pick up my children on April the 20th, she pretty much went up one side of me and down the, the other in front of my children. I for what? Because, we, because I was taking her for spousal support. She oh, pretty much. Okay, so then that didn't happen before the spousal support. So tell me what went into your thinking when you had just obtained a car that you asked her to not only co sign, but that she is part owner of. Yeah. And you, um, yeah, nobody else to turn to. She's who you turned to. She had done you this tremendous favor, thereby exposing her credit to be the garbage that your credit is. And then, what, a week later, you sue her for spousal support? Do I have that right? Yeah, kind of. Mm, sounds like garbage when I say it, right? Yeah, mother of your children. So, would you ever co-sign for a car for your ex? Yeah, absolutely. Probably won't be like a Maserati, but maybe an 84 Honda that passed all the security checks. Uh, but is it dicey to do that with an ex you divorce? Yes, absolutely. Would you ever do it? They really needed it. Yes. Oh, sucker, <laughs> going inside the card room. So you call the bank. Tell me how that goes. I'm dying to hear it. You call the bank and you tell them what? Hey, this guy doesn't have a job. I don't want my name on Like, well, why do they say OK? I'm kind of curious. OK, so um, since I couldn't contact him to ask him when he was going to pay it, I called. first I called my lawyer to say, hey, this is what's going on. Um, I don't know if he's going to make a payment. I can't contact him to find out if he is. She said, OK, well, do what you need to do. So. I call the bank, tell them, listen, you know, since he hasn't made the payment, don't know when he is, can you just go ahead and can I have it voluntarily re repoed? Mm -hmm. um, and they said yes. Okay. So. so now the car is about to be sold or it was sold? Um, it's supposed to be auctioned. Okay. Are you supporting him? For the, well, I don't support him. I help him. Well, if he's making 100 and something, you're supporting him. I don't know how to break it to you. You have a counterclaim against him. Amount owed for Samsung Galaxy S, tell, uh, eight. Tell me about that. Um, before I found out um, that he cheated on me for Is that years. why you guys separated? Yes. Um, he cheated on me for most of the marriage, but I found out um, 
from her um, when I uh, looked through his cell phone records that he, um, she was che he was cheating for five years. Wait, she told you? Yeah. How did this come about? How did you catch him or find out? She um, called you? No, one day I just, he was just acting weird. And usually when that, when he acts that way, he was cheating on me. Really? So this is a pattern? And, yeah. So um, I started looking through the cell phone, found her number over and over again. Um, I called her and apparently um, he tricked me one day to say that he had a girl that's a friend and he told me to text it or something. So I said, oh, you have a girlfriend. So she thought that I already knew about her and I didn't. I know, it's crazy. So um, that day, you know, I came home and I kicked him out, you know, and um, since that day, he's been taking me to court after court after court saying that he's so old. So why then, if he takes you to court after court after court, why would you co-sign for the card? He was, for a while we were amicable. He was being so sweet. We were involved, unfortunately. What does involved mean? Having together, having sexual intercourse together. Oh, um, there, for a while. that's a new one on you, huh? You didn't know that? Ooh. For a while and talk I and he's- fly in that car on the mm -hmm. way home. Mm -hmm. And he, you know, that's how, unfortunately, that's how he got me to soften up and, you know, told me he really needed the car. And my kids were crying. They're like, they miss their dad. They haven't seen their dad. I'm the kind of Would mother- Would you like to respond to that? Um, the being intimate part or whatever she said involved is not true. That's not true. That's never happened. Doesn't matter, honestly. I don't even care. If, I just wanted you to know why I did it. Sounds has a ring of truth. Has that little ring of truth. I hear a lot of people lying, a lot of people telling the truth, and I kind of have a ring in my ear. Mm. Yeah, I was. I mean, we're still married, and unfortunately, you know, I don't know. I he talked me in after softened me up that way okay. to get in the car. You, you so still it's just th these are bad decisions. Yeah, the and apparently one after the kids the other. are going to be relying on you. Yeah, right. So it. maybe you need to start making some good decisions. Well, the, pro the All right, what happened with the phone though? So um, the phone when we um, when before this happened. I changed my password online and everything. He figured it out. He got a new phone without telling me. How though? Um, he just ordered it. He just ordered who, it online. Uh, and whose name is the account? Mine. <laughs> so how was he able to order it if you changed your password? He figured out my password. Oh, okay, go ahead. Um, so I didn't know he had a new phone until after he left. Who was paying the bills? How did you not see it on the bill? Um, the bill came in the next month and that's how I found out. Oh, cause it all happened in one fell swoop? Yeah. <laughs> But besides that, he ended that same month, he took three. So what happened with that phone? That phone, um, the Samsung Galaxy S7, she's the one that told me that I can upgrade. I had a, a, a no, older phone. No, physically, where is that phone? That phone, I sold it. Actually, it wasn't a the sell. Phone it was, was a trade-in. The phone that was on her account that she has to pay for month by month, you sold it. Wow. So I ended, now I'm paying for that too, and unfortunately he's trying to now he's trying to turn turn my son against me. Yeah. So it's just it's been okay, crazy. Okay, here's how it's gonna go, folks. In case this is any big fat surprise, on the half of the car deposit, because Terrence, you think bad things shouldn't happen to you. Um, yeah, that's bad things happen when you don't pay for the car, you lose the car. Yeah. And it's your fault the car didn't get paid for. So uh, whether she did it maliciously or righteously makes no difference. Nobody could do it to you if you hadn't done it to yourself. And stuff that happens isn't always someone else's fault and responsibility. So uh, no, she doesn't have to pay you boo. Now, I am going to tell you guys that something's going to come up, or something may have already come up at this point. Mm -hmm. Because if there is a surplus, then money is going to be paid probably in a check to both of you. It's gonna have both your names on it. Um, and if there isn't a surplus, then money is going to be owed by both of you. So this is still an issue that's going to need to be handled in divorce court. I'm gonna end up paying for it. Well, don't, don't be so, but you know what? Stop, stop making it so easy for people to walk all over you. How's that? Yes, ma'am. On behalf of your children, stop making it so easy for people to walk all over you. Yes, ma'am. Fight a little. Yes, ma'am. You know? And on the phone, you're gonna pay her. Uh, show me the receipt for the, the phone that he sold out from under you. I just have the collection notice um, from the phone. It's been so long, they don't have the original um, information for me. Yeah, but how do I know this is for the phone? 
I that's the that's the information that they gave me. Right, but I, I need to know that it's for the phone. So you're going to need to provide me with evidence of how much. Okay. Is owed because I'm not going to make him pay for uh, actual phone bill that's yeah. not his. I need to know that. Yes, ma'am. And I also see that it says discounted offer. Yes. So if there's a discounted offer, I'm going to take... order him to pay the discounted offer. If he yeah. doesn't pay it, then you know. Absolutely. Obviously. Okay. So I find that uh, you are entitled to the phone based on the fact that I believe you, that you had no idea that he, in an unauthorized fashion, ordered it. And I also find that uh, you are not entitled to sue her for you having lost your car because you didn't make your car payment in over almost a month. That's my verdict. Good luck, folks. Thank you, ma'am. Well, the judge finds for the defendant in this case, Mr. Nichols, not a good day for you in court, no, was it? No, it's not a good day, but I'm just glad that it's over and I can move on. Are you two in divorce proceedings? Have you she, filed? She served me with divorce papers. Now it's just a process of getting everything done. So can, I wonder why she waited so long. She's holding on to false hope. Holding on to false hope? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you're in the picture. Yeah. Did you learn anything in court today? Yes, yes, I did. Do you believe her? Uh, no, I can't say as if I do because she's been caught in lies before. Really? Mm -hmm. Seems pretty honest, yeah. I must tell you. All right. Interesting ride home, as the judge put it. <laughs> Gord <laughs> likes to overhear what the conversation is. All right, Ms. Nichols. Hello. You got some good advice from the judge. Yes. Fight a little bit. Yes. You think you'll do that? I will. I will. I'm, unfortunately, like, I'm a nice, happy-go-lucky person, so I hate when people are upset. And I need to learn to fight for myself, yes. You do. And I don't lie, so <laughs> I have a horrible conscience, so I can't lie like that. So. I'm sorry you're having so much problems. Yeah. All right, I hope your kid's okay. Oh, absolutely. It's all about them, so. Okay, good enough. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, thank okay? You. Okay, I hate to sound harsh, but there's a reason people get divorced, and usually it's because they don't get along, and when you don't get along and somebody asks to help you out, better think twice.